Pizza time! Okay, welcome back, and uh, now I'm gonna snag that blanket because just like everything else, it's not nailed down in this game. You will need it, and we are also gonna use this flyer in the suggestion box. I like how John Hancock <coughs> saw me do that. Boy, didn't say it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Harassing Betsy with arbitrary flag design changes is getting dull. Besides, last time she threatened to stitch me. No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? That dude's voice rules, by the way. Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually, Hancock. Okay, so I think I'm almost uh, done here. Although I do need to get that gold plated quill pen. Um, let's take a look at the Constitution, shall we? Whoa, it's filling up fast. Indeed it is. And we got to give Thomas Jefferson something to replace the log. How about this wine bottle? Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Uh, no problem. Okay. What is next? Uh, oh yeah. Need that gold pen. So, how else are we going to get a gold pen around here? I mean, or any gold of any kind. Well, we gotta get those guys out of there, otherwise they're gonna try to stop me. I don't think they're just gonna willingly give over the damn gold quill that signs the Constitution. So, let's go up here. And... You know what would be great? A great idea? Let's kill the Founding Fathers with carbon monoxide. No. Let's start a, uh... Let's get that smoke back down there. That ought to do it. Fire! <laughs> the okay. grabs his wig. Who was the idiot who started the fire? Nice. I don't think we need the blanket anymore. No really. way. It could be on fire by now. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Okay. So there's not a time limit here or anything, but. Gotta go down there quickly and grab the the golden quill pen. I'm sure they've already. I'm sure they'll find another one. So. Can I paint this guy red too? Nah, I like it the way. It yeah, whatever. Would have been fun though. Okay. Let's pick up the pen and write all over the Constitution. Now, let's get the hell out of here. It looks pretty clear in here now. 
Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Yeah, uh, let's just, uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. Okay, we have our gold now. And... Uh, let's see here. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Alright, now we just need vinegar. Can't get the vinegar yet because, well, we, the wine isn't <laughs> vinegar yet in this timeline. So, we gotta go to the future. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Human show, eh? Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. So, this is the future. A future ruled by tentacles. And that guy looks a lot like Purple Tentacle, as a matter of fact. And... So yeah, we have got to get out of here. If we try to walk... That ain't gonna work. So... Let's see if we can talk some reason into this guy. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Uh... <laughs> violation of my rights. I don't think that's gonna work. Um... I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Okay, so now we have the opportunity to go over here. And I think you can still send stuff to her, even though she's... I don't think Prana John isn't powered yet. It should still work just fine. Let's see... Anything else? Um... Hmm. I don't know if she needs the textbook, but hell, why not? I know she needs the majority of this stuff, so... And... Ah, yes. Our old pal, the clown. You remember me, buddy? You remember me? Yeah, you do. <laughs> and I believe she needs this as well, so... That ought to do it. So we've got all this stuff now. And... I think... I think not. There's supposed to be a cat here, but... Hmm. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, it'll show up there later. Anyways, so let's go back inside, shall we? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Eh, fuck you. Let's talk to you these guys again. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. <laughs> time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Okay. Hmm. 
What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Thanks, Dr. Tentacle. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Boy? You think after like 100 years of ruling the world, they'd kind of know human biology? Alright, next time, we're going to try to find a tentacle disguise.